Hi! In this tutorial, I want to teach you a very simple application, teach you how to create a very simple application. So we're going to be creating a mini app that draws pine trees. It's pine trees from or from manually from our keyboard, from inputs from our keyboard. So let's see this. So we're going to give the height here and when I click on the draw button, it draws our tree right here with the leaves with with the number of rows I mentioned and a stump at the end. Okay, so this, this is what we want to draw and once the tree is drawn, we also get a redraw button which was previously hidden and when we click on the redraw button, the tree gets the tree disappears and we can either click on draw to draw the same same size tree again or we can change the value okay and you can actually make this any value you want when you click on redraw you can make this any any height you want if i give 60 see i get a tree with height 60 in here so that's completely up to you so our program can draw any kind of tree with any any height so this is what we're going to be drawing uh, we're going to be creating in our project so we have our index.html here and we also created i also created a script.js file and a style.css file beforehand and i i also used my brackets basic html skeleton element to create the basic html skeleton I'm pretty sure you know what all of these things are. This is the language en to indicate English, the head, meta tags, and then body, and then the end of the HTML tag. And in the title, I can give something like pine tree, uh, draw pine tree, something like that. Okay, just a simple title. And in the body, this is what we need. If you, can, if you see here, so we have our heading, which is the heading one tag, and then we have our input here, and we have a button here. Also, we had two hidden parts before. Remember, we had the part where the tree was drawn, and then we also had a button which was hidden, okay? So we need to include five parts in our HTML code. Let me go ahead with that now. So first of all, H1 tag. This is going to be our heading. It's going to have the text pine tree, just like it has here. And then we're going to include an input with an ID of height, because this is going to be the input where we enter the height of our tree. And then the text is, type is going to be text. Okay, because this is, this is going to be a text box. Okay, so that's it. And then we're also going to have a button with an ID submit and the button is going to have the text draw okay so draw so this is going to be the button text also let me include to break tags to break the output that is the div element from our from the button okay from this particular line so I these two are actually inline elements. Inline elements don't take up the entire width of the page. So even even though I've created them separately on separate lines, if you look at the live preview, you can create you can get the live preview in brackets by going to file and then click, clicking on live preview here. So if it, when you check check the live preview, let me go here. You can see that they are on the same line. Even though you created them on separate lines in your code, they're actually on same lines because they are actually inline elements as in they don't take up the entire width of the page like the block elements do. This h1 tag is actually a block element so it took up the entire width of the page. Okay, so that's it for these two parts and then we, and then we have our output parts. So for the output I'm going to create another block level element that takes up the entire width of the page because I I don't want anything else on the same line of our output. So the ID is going to be pine. So that's why I created a div element because it's the go to block level element. Okay. That's it. So this is going to be empty right now because we aren't going to include anything in here unless we enter the value of the height. 
and our JavaScript code is completely going to take care of everything that goes inside this div element. So we aren't going to include anything within the HTML file right now. Okay. Also, finally, we need to um, create the re redraw button. Okay. So another button. It's going to have the ID reset and then redraw. Okay. So that's it. So we have our entire HTML page done. Let's check if it, if, let's check what we have now. Okay, refresh. So this is what we have right now. Our div element does not have anything, so we can't see it here. And our redraw is not hidden yet because we haven't created our stylings yet. So let's go to, okay, let's go for that now. So HTML is done. And before I start, uh, before I start the styles, let me link to the style element, then link to the style page so link relationship is style sheet and then type is going to be text slash css href is going to be style dot css that's it okay so we've linked our html file and our css file now we can start designing so first let me select the entire html page if you see here everything is centered within our page okay so first of all i need to align everything to the center so I can do that in here because that way I can align every part of our uh, page in just one stroke. So that's one. And then we need our background, the background we have here. So background color is beige. Okay, so that's it. That's it for the entire page. Let's see what we have. Okay, great. So everything is aligned to the center and we have our background color as well. And then we and then we're going to design the h1 tag that is a heading so it has a green color its size is bigger than what we have right now and then it's also aligned properly within the page so let's do all of that now so to select the h1 tag i can just give h1 uh, that's because there's only one h1 tag in this particular code so h1 sorry style.css the color is going to be dark green and then the font weight is going to be 900 so this is just to make the text bold font weight that's what it does and then the font size this is going to increase the font size of the element with respect to its uh, with respect to what the element is h1 element is already bolded and already it, it, it already has a bigger size than the normal paragraphs so accordingly it will increase the weight and the size so let's see what we have so far see Great, so we have our text designed. Now we, we just have to align the heading. So the, let me give a margin of 30 pixels. So all the sites have a margin of 30 pixels. Okay, that's that's for the lower part. And then for the upper part, I need a bigger margin. So margin um, top is going to have a margin of 100 pixels. So, okay, it's come below. And then we have decent decent spacing spacing between this heading and the input okay now that's done now let's go to our button where is it okay our both of both of our buttons are going to have the same designs so let's see it's okay i'll just select it separately so the se submit button first i'm selecting it with its id the id of the submit button is submit so the font size of the button is going to be 25 pixels. Usually when I change the font size of a button, the size of the button as such, the width and height of the button also changes accordingly. If you can, let me show you. See, the button became bigger because I changed the size of the button. Also, let me change the font weight of the button text. This is for the button text. Okay, all of these are. So, okay, now it's bold. Also, Next, let's look at the input. The input has an ID of height. I'm also going to increase the font size of this input button. Right now, when you type on it, the font size is very small. Similar to the button, when you increase the font, font size of an input text element, the size of the input box also increases. Let me show you. So I'll select it 
by its ID height. When I increase the font size to 25 pixels, let me show you what happens. See, the input box is also enlarged. Okay, and then let's look at the hidden parts. The first hidden part is the div element, which has an ID pine. First of all, I want to give it a margin top of around 25 pixels. So there is spacing between this particular row and our output. And then I'm going to give it a font weight of 900, which is the highest font weight available. And then the font size of all the leaves and the stump is going to be 35 pixels. And the color of the text is going to be brown. Okay, so everything is text in here. That's why we can properly design it with just the textual text uh, text uh, stylings. Okay, and then finally the reset button. The reset button has Okay, so it has an ID of reset. It's also going to have a font size of 25 pixels. Font weight of bold. And then margin, the margin top is going, there's going to be a difference between this and this. That is a margin top. It's going to be 20 pixels. Okay, so there is space between the pine and the reset, but reset button. And finally, the display is going to be none because the reset button is going to going to be invisible for at the start, and then it gets visible after the a pine tree is drawn. Right. So first of all, we are going to give the display as none, which is the default, and then we are going to make it uh, make it appear later on in our JavaScript code. So that's it for our styles. Let me save everything and let's see what we have so far. Okay, we have a proper design where two parts are invisible right now. So we can take care of all of that in our JavaScript code. So I'll see you there. Also, if you have any doubts, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions for future videos or suggestions for courses, I'm crea courses I could create, whatever it is, please uh, inform everything or write everything in the comment section below. And please subscribe, like, and comment on comment on anything the video or anything i always respond so thank you